Hi guys, this is Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV and welcome to part 2 of my NBA 2K16 series, Seattle Sonic Boom. And it's always the way I've had an absolute mare with the production, etc. I really need to start learning how to edit videos. So as promised, I was going to finalise our roster and then I was going to give you a quick update on the uniforms and the arena, etc. So it's going to be quite a short video. Um, nothing too drastic, so I'll probably throw this one up uh, pretty much straight after the first one, to be honest, try and get a bit of uh, momentum going. Um, what I'll be doing after this one is uh, simming through the first season, trying to achieve some of those owner goals, get a bit more cash in the bank, and try and get this uh, facilities rating up. Probably going to take two seasons for this to happen. I need to get that to about 4, 4.5, something along that kind of region, before we're going to start uh, pushing this thing home. So I've gone through and I've had a stab at the uniforms these are on the way towards what we had in place um, like what the Sonics used to use to a point but I've also uh, tried to change things up a little bit the home uniform I'm not so pleased with this one I might end up changing this before the uh, before the bid goes in um, but we're going for the, the similar kind of setup it's pretty much white green with a bit of the red it's so got the uh, the stripe across the chest, which is uh, something that's common on the uniforms. This one I'm a lot more happy with, uh, the away uniform with the green. So I think more work needed on first, but pretty pleased with that one, all in all. Of course, I've got a bit of time. It's probably going to be the second season, so I probably need a little more time in the uniform uh, before we finish it off. And then here we have the arena, a sea of green, uh, as is always the way. I've gone for the biggest one you can get, 21,231. I've named it the Sonics Arena because that's currently being built at the moment. So this is a bit of an example of what it could look like. Sonics Arena, Seattle Supersonics at either end with the green and the yellow. I've put Splash Zone on one of the ends um, with plenty of blood splatters all over it, hoping that would look like water in some strange kind of way. Uh, who knows? But uh, yeah, there's always time for me to improve that. I was just throwing it together last minute. And then we got a nice big Jumbotron with the uh, Sonics logo on it, which is going to look pretty cool. I haven't added any sound effects yet. I might change my mind on that, but I think we got to find people that are on my team to go and put sound effects on everything. That gets quite annoying after a while. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going with on that front and then let's have a quick look at our finalised roster um, the players right at the bottom I've kind of left that as it is to a point that I'm sure these guys won't be seeing too much action uh, but our starting five so we've got Demarcus Cousins uh, 88 rating 25 year old so room for him to develop uh, Rudy Gay decided to stick with him at small forward um, he's a, a very good shooter from the outside so I'm expecting to be uh, raining down some threes um, it's kind of debatable actually, he's probably not one of the best shooters in the game, but good enough to do some serious damage. Uh, same with uh, Avery Bradley who we've brought in, uh, managed to get him an 81 rating player um, at shooting guard and he's going to improve from there as well, probably get to like 85 by the time we make the move across. Uh, Brandon Jennings, he is uh, filling in. 26 year old filling in for Darren Collison, pretty much similar rating and uh, they bring quite a lot of the similar elements uh, to the table as well but Collison's one of those players, I've faced him a number of times in my career and he seems to get away with quite a lot that you'd think how have you just managed that and uh, quite an exciting player here, uh, Pazingas, uh, first round draft pick last year I think, I uh, no. Position four uh, last year he was picked up by the 20 year old uh, from Latvia so it's going to be exciting to see how he develops already a 79 rating does a bit of everything but we're going to keep on uh, pushing him and right on his tail we've got Taj Gibson and the 30 oh he's only 30 actually so a bit of a short term option but we're going to keep him around uh, you now he could do some serious damage he can shoot a bit as well which is exciting kind of similar mold to. Uh, Oh, it's the guy from San Antonio. Um, Jamarcus Ross, so we might see him pop the odd three, which is going to be interesting for a big man. i uh, got Tony Rosen from 
uh, the free agency, 22 year old, uh, so he's coming in, uh, so he's back up uh, point guard and I've managed to uh, offload uh, Jose Calderon. Uh, Ray Allen, got him on a two year deal, going to be popping some threes for us. Uh, so age 40, and the main reason I picked him up is he was uh, at Seattle, I think it was 2000, oh, I don't know, I don't know the years, but he was at Seattle for about four seasons, I think, so it'd be nice to get him in the jersey in the second season, and then I might try and bring him onto the coaching staff or something. And then uh, Willie Cauley-Stein, a uh, lot of work to do here uh, for him, he can develop a lot at age 22, he's going to be playing uh, uh, back up centre, and a very good defender, quite athletic as well. We go see some dunks from him. I uh, got Jameer Nelson, uh, picked him up in a trade, sort of third choice point guard. Maybe I'll look to offload him for someone uh, just quickly and keep Seth Curry as the backup. He's still got a bit of uh, work to do, but we've got plenty of options, should we say. Um, also, managed to pick up Mike Miller, um, who again used to be able to pull quite a few threes uh, when he was playing for Miami. Not so much anymore, age 35, but a decent option to have around, I think, as a, a backup small forward and can shoot from a lot of different areas. So, it's a bit of a different lineup to what I'm used to, to be honest, because my typical style um, when I'm putting a team together is to go big on the power forward and go big on the centre, use the post a lot, and make sure my defense rebounding is solid. This is a bit of a different setup because we've got Demarcus Cousins who can do a bit of everything um, in the post. He's going to be useful. Rudy Gay, shooter. Uh, Avery Bradley's got a big shot on him. Uh, Brandon Jennings, more of a playmaker, but he can score from the outside. Uh, Persingas does a bit of everything. And then we've got the likes of uh, Ray Allen coming off the bench. Uh, same with uh, Seth Curry coming off the bench. We've got players that can shoot the three. I'm going to be trying to light it up there as best we can. And Tony Roten, uh, quick player. And uh, you know, more into getting into the paint, picking up fouls, that kind of thing. So he's going to be a bit of a change of pace for us, uh, which is exciting. So I'm, all in all, liking the look of this team, to be honest. And we could well be putting in a bit of a challenge this year. And it'll be nice if we did, to be honest, as we're looking to rack up the cash and try and get this move over to Seattle Dump. To Seattle, sorry, and um, done after two seasons. So let's see how it goes anyway. But that's a, a really quick video just to give you a heads up on the lineup we're going to be rocking with, show you what I've done so far. And it'll be good to get your feedback. Uh, so drop me a comment in the comment section, drop me a message if you like, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and stick with us. This is going to be a very exciting series, and I'm looking forward to it. Catch you next time.